Hi and welcome Sagittarius, Rose Burnett here, Mind, Body, Soul Balance. This is your mid-month tarot reading for September 2019. It is a general reading, so always trust your own intuition and guidance on what resonates with you. Leave what does not. If you want a personal reading with me, more attuned to your own energy and circumstances, the questions you'd most like answered, reach out. I'll pop a link on this video and in the description box below. If you're brand new to my channel, big welcome. Awesome to have you here. If you like what you see, hit the subscribe button. You'll get more great content from me. For those that regularly follow my channel, you're rocking awesome. So appreciative of your support. And uh, there is a coupon code running for the next couple of weeks, depending on when you're watching this, up until the end of September. Uh, you can get $10 off my 45-minute extended personal reading. going to pop up over here in a sec. All you need to do is take that coupon code across to the booking form, enter it when prompted to get your $10 off. It is case sensitive, yeah? Everything else you need to know in the description box below. All right, let's get started. So, got lots of gorgeous crystals on every deck, and uh, we're going to open up your energy with a crystal spirit oracle. And let's see what you need to know, Sagittarius. Oh, so, what's to come out? Ah. Very vibrant blues in this. You've got Azurite Insight, and right in the center of these, got a tiny little crystal spirit, yeah? Um, the ability to see things more clearly, perhaps get some clarity. Let's pull you up the guidance. It says Sagittarius, the spirit of Azurite reveals itself in a comical fashion as a small being with wings wearing a turban, insightful, he is sent to remind us of the inherent humour in life. He is not to be taken lightly, though. There is a depth to his insight and inner discovery. His wings give flight to his visions, like Aladdin taking flight on a magic flying carpet. The deep blue of this stone is like the infinite night sky and is sprinkled with stars, a reminder. The sky is unlimited. And Azurai asks you these questions. Where do I limit my ideas of my potential? Do I trust my insights about people and situations? Great question to ask. When Azurite appears in your reading, it's time to start trusting your insight and wisdom that flows from them. We are born with a gift of insight and Azurite is a reminder to take heart and have courage to act on it. It also encourages you to trust when you need to keep your own counsel and a refined sense of timing so you easily recognize when to act. When you release your visions to the world, one of the greatest gifts is a sense of discovery of one's own innate ability to bring your dreams into reality. Azurite also brings the qualities of clarity and focus to enable your actions to be aligned with your own highest vision. And uh, there's a little practice here, a suggestion which says today, take one step to start or conclude a project that's important to you. And uh, there's a very brief meditation which says, imagine a tricky situation that you may have with someone. You take them to a beautiful exotic perfumed garden. There is a bright full moon in the sky and a warm and balmy night. You reach into your heart for the right words and speak to them about what's bothering you. You use your insight to find a gentle truth and to bring about a loving resolution. Then from this place, you can honor the stars in the other's eyes. Very beautiful. Very much about seeing both sides, yeah? Putting yourself in somebody else's shoes. Um, all right, so what we're gonna do with your reading is we're gonna look at four key areas of focus and then pull some clarifiers. With the Nature's Whispers Oracle, oh, let's see what you need to know, Sagittarius. And whenever you're watching this, this is the most perfect time. Wow, definitely some insights coming to you. Um, not only you've got Azurite insight, you've got illumination. Um, which you have, she's obviously looking at the moon here, yeah, but the, the gown that she's wearing very much represents a butterfly. She's got a butterfly tattooed on her back. Um, so it kind of speaks to transformation, new beginnings, seeing your way forward. All right, what else does Sagittarius need to know? Highest level guidance. Here we go. Mm. Wow. You've also got Celebrate Differences, which is about, um, 
accepting the other side of other people, yeah, that are not the same to you. What does that mean? Um, you've got two messages. One, I mean, the meditation message in, in your opening energy was to say what you was in your heart space to someone else and, and to see what's being reflected back to you, yeah. Um, you may only be seeing one side of a picture which is yours and not taking everyone's views into account in the situation. Mm. You've also got assurance here, and if you have a look at this boughs of this tree, there's lots of angelic beings in it, yeah, which speaks to a lot of love towards you from the divine, but it's also protection, yeah, mm -hmm. divine protection. All right, what else does Sagittarius need to know at this time? Hmm. And uh, you've got be your best self always, which is showing up in your highest integrity, your honour, um, particularly if people around you are not showing up in the best way. It's about you following your own values, you know, um, also not letting other people upset your, your energy. All right, let's pour some clarifiers with the energy oracle. Let's have a look at illumination. Mm. you've got the world here. So you've got the world of possibilities open to you. Um, it can also mean the end of a cycle, starting something new. Yeah, you might also want to travel, expand your horizons. Mm. You've also got the thinking woman here, which is all about um, stepping out of your emotions and into your rational side brain. Yeah. A lot here to say, look at things from a different perspective to get clarity. Mm. Some of you have had a relationship breakdown recently, yeah. Or you still got some heartache in your heart space that you need to clear. Yeah, you've got broken heart there. Mm -hmm. All right, next to that, you've got a thinking man. So you've got the thinking woman, thinking man. Uh, both genders here, so the message is the same. Um I mean, this could be your partner that you're connecting with, but it's also about stepping into your masculine energy, seeing things from a rational perspective, stepping out of your emotions, yeah. And here it is. Yeah, there's lots of adjacent possibilities around you. Adjacent possibilities in love, adjacent possibilities in life path, life purpose. Mm -hmm. All right, let's have a look at Celebrate Differences. Mm, wow. You have cornucopia here, available to you. It's available to everyone, right? Um, it's almost like the universe is tapping you on the head going, oi. <laughs> Whatever you want, you can have. You've got to create it. Yeah? You've got to create it. It's available to you. It's about seeing that it's available to you. Cornucopia is blessings trying to come to you, yeah? Mm. Underneath a broken heart, you've got your basic needs, yeah, which um, we've got Archangel Michael here, which is he's a very protective Archangel, yeah. Uh, your basic needs, you might be worrying about them, your home, your shelter, your food, particularly if you're going through a relationship breakout, yeah, because I mean, it often shifts major things in our life, doesn't it? Destabilizes a lot of area of life, and we have to find our feet again. Um, mm -hmm. Good news is the sun's coming out, yeah. There are blessings coming your way, absolutely. You've got to match your vibration to it. Yeah, here it is. So in terms of the celebrate differences, I was waiting, I was thinking we we're going to get some sort of energy coming out about other people. Um, you've got hostilities here, which are in your face, directed towards you. Dare I say it, um, undoubtedly related to a relationship break down. Mm -hmm. Um... There's a lot here to say that there's some great opportunities that want to happen for you, great blessings that want to happen for you. You are going to have to deal with the hostilities, but the key message from Spirit is to see both sides of the picture. Um, often there's a lot going on. The other person's hurting just as much as you are. Yeah. Mm. Some of you need to seek a healer of the ages, yeah, to heal self. It can mean that part of your life path is being a healer of the ages. And um, you need to trust your heart space. Some of you need to do some heart healing. Yeah, it's your heart chakra. 
It's also your, your cornucopia in terms of what you want to draw to you. It's about trusting your heart, your passions, but also looking at things rationally. Yeah. Mm, there's an absolute storm warning here. Directly related to your heart, directly related to your your uh, basic needs. Yeah, some stuff going on there that is challenging you right now. You've also got the door to spirit opening. So spirit's trying to help you right now. The divine is trying to help you right now. You may get more connection with your spirit guides. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right next to that, you've got the temple path. Um, it's also a way in which you're dealing with the hostilities is for you to release that stress, yeah. Release that stress. What do I mean by that? Guided meditations, things that are going to open you up to your higher states of consciousness, getting your feet on Mother Earth, releasing your stress out to the universe. Talk, like talking to them, but not obviously out loud, dare I say. Um, <laughs> in your head. All right, let's have a look at be your best self always. I mean, that's why be your best self there, yeah, because the hostilities. You've also got your friendships and your community around you, so lean on them. Yeah, it can also mean your family. Mm. Here's your crown chakra. So much about your higher chakras. The universe is telling you to get into your higher states of consciousness. Mm. And uh, here's your sixth chakra, yeah, which is your, your intuition, goddess of the moons. Trust in your intuition. To guide you mm. and walk away from the hostilities the broken heart the drama mm -hmm. when you don't engage I mean treat people with kindness and compassion but when you don't engage they can't argue with they only argue with themselves yeah and walk towards love yeah you got love here guy or girl um, 44 is an angelic number angels trying to speak directly to you there is other possibilities for you in love is what that message is. Um, on the bottom of the deck, uh, magician in the mirror, so you can create anything you want to create in your life. It's up to you entirely. All right, so some guidance with the goddess guidance deck. So we have a look at this top row all about your clarity and your illumination, um, the adjacent possibilities. Mm, yeah. Just exactly what I said is to get your feet on Mother Earth, Maui, to balance and ground your energy so you can think and see clearly and put healthy boundaries in place with people to protect yourself. Mm -hmm. Your time, your energy, your emotions. Tell us your cornucopia. Mm. This was what was on the bottom of the deck of the other deck that I just read out to you, yeah? Uh, you're a magical person. You can create whatever you want to create in your life, Rihanna. Um, particularly related to the hostilities, you can turn that around, be the bigger person. Um, mm -hmm. um, also related to your cornucopia, and you are absolutely second message, divinely protected at this time, Artemis. Guardian angel watching over you and your loved ones. Um, you've also got Bast here, which is your independence is part of who you are, it's integral to your success. You don't ever apologize for it. Mm, yeah, it's a time of endings and beginnings. The old must be released so that the new can enter, particularly in love. Mm -hmm. All right, let's have a look at this side where we've got be your best self, always your friendships, walking away from drama. Mm. Lots to do with your intuition, your wisdom, trust in yourself. Yes, yeah, an owl there, which is all about wisdom and seeing the truth. And then take action. Mm. Not only got Mother Earth, you got bodies of water, yeah. Such a clear message to get yourself out in nature to rejuvenate yourself. All right, Sagittarius, let's have a look at some uh, guidance from the crystal reading deck which is a healing deck so have a look at the top line all about illumination adjacent possibilities mm. so much about your wisdom coming out yeah ancient wisdom um this is past life information coming back to you trust it yeah trust it mm. 
There is going to be a renewal of peace in your world. Um, it's about you standing in your strength and your empowerment, Tree, trying to see the other person's point of view, yeah, and put healthy boundaries in place. Mm. And you've also got um, clear quartz purification. This is your emotions, your mindset, looking after your body. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, you're absolutely coming into your own cold pipe. Things that need to be released from your life. Dare I say that whole reading is pretty much talking about a relationship. That resonates with you. Oh, double confirmation to put healthy boundaries in place. Red Jasper. Double message. Mm. And if you need to seek a healer, you seek a healer out. Yeah, whether it's a counsellor, psychologist, natural therapies. Mm -hmm. Typically to do with your heart chakra, your sacral chakra, things you're worrying about. Because this is what's trying to come to you, yeah, is joy in your life and abundance. Yeah, citrine abundance trying to come to you. You've got cornucopia as well, sun coming out. There's some heart stuff you need to look after, Sagittarius. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's pull you some guidance with the Messenger Oracle. What is it Sagittarius needs to know? Mm. Whatever is going on or has gone on is about seeking the lesson within there. Yeah, there's always a lesson which is a gift, which is going to help you with growth, personal growth and transformation. We always co-create our experiences. Um, we always contribute in some way. Choices you make in love partner, you can't blame them. You chose them. Yeah, you chose to be in a relationship with them. Um, things you, you ignored didn't take action on, decisions you made, we all co-create, yeah. Seek the lesson, what do you need to learn from the experience, yeah. Mm -hmm. Because that is part of the healing journey. Mm, wow, flew out. And be without malice, whatever's going on, hostilities at you, stand in your kindness, your compassion, do not retaliate, the message from spirit, yeah. Be your best self. Mm, wow, interesting. You've also got let two become one. So there's love that wants to knock on your door. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There's also the opportunity that whatever's going on here, there is an opportunity to resolve it. Yeah, bring, bring the two of you closer together. It's up to you. Can speak to new love. You have got walking away. Yeah. Or it can speak, you know, allowing new love in, or it can speak to trying to sort the differences out between the two of you. For those of you going through relationship conflict, yeah, absolutely. Right through your reading, embrace your masculine energy, your empowerment, your rational side. Mm -hmm. On the bottom of the deck, you've got show that you care. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, let's put your crowning energy from the Sacred Powers Oracle. What is it Sagittarius needs to know at this time? Highest level of guidance. Mm, wow. You've got two here, and I will, um, I'll show them both to you because they're both pertinent to your reading, yeah? They both came out together. Uh, you've got self-love and you've also got abundance. So universe is absolutely trying to give you abundance, right? Um, let's have a look at self-love, which I think is a more important message for you at this time. Oh, open straight up to it. It says, Sagittarius, be courageous and listen to your own advice. Your inner child is an aspect of the self reminiscent of all that you've learned and experienced. Free, spontaneous, creative and full of wonder. Your inner child longs to be in a state of joy, but also requires nurturing attention and constant reassurance. Your inner child feels these extremes of emotion because they lack understanding of why particular circumstances have occurred. You can shift long-standing emotional patterns by working with your inner self, resolve problems, trauma and issues that you have found challenging and difficult to address. While you may have grown up quickly or had a limited childhood absent of opportunities and experiences, 
The inner child is an aspect of you that requires love and attention, even as an adult. Emotions are powerful. Like children, adults manipulate, rebel through tantrums and can often put on a brave face for the sake of others. To create a symbiotic relationship between you, the parent, and your inner child, you must work in agreement of security, safety, acceptance, and surety. Acknowledging that you have been wounded in the first place is a step in shifting your mindset. Self-love is essential right now as there is a child within you needing parental help and advice. Grieving for the past or circumstances that we did not understand at the time, no matter how old you were, is now necessary. Helplessness, confusion or feeling overwhelmed can trigger childlike behaviour such as tantrums, manipulation and rebellion in an attempt to get what you want. Take the time to be playful and curious, be courageous and learn the power of no. It will shield you from pushy people seeking to compromise your values and integrity. If you were to see the little you, what sage advice would you give knowing what you know today? It's a beautiful question. I actually did a video on it. I'll plug it into this, um, link it into this video, yeah? On exactly that question, what would I say to my younger self? Mm -hmm. In the inspirational playlist. All right, there's an affirmation here which says, I nurture the child within me. I am complete, whole and secure. I am safe. How beautiful. All right, love to hear feedback on how this resonated with you. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you subscribe, comment, share, and don't forget before you leave, grab your coupon code if you want to get a personal reading with me and get that $10 off before the end of the month. And for now, much love, much light. Namaste. Mm -hmm.